Uh, hello, this is a, a note on downloading and installing uh, the program, the Navigation Weather Program QTVLM, onto a PC computer. And so the first step is you go to their website. You can just Google uh, QTVLM. That'll take you straight here. Then you come up to the Downloads page. And let's go there. Um, then once we're at the Downloads page, here we'll choose Latest Version at the top. And then come on down. And we may have to click a few times here. There's Windows. Click again, Windows. Go on down. This is a tablet. No, we want a desktop. That's here. Uh, then we come down and say that's it. That's the latest one right there. Okay, and that's putting that all into the... Uh, was blocked. Okay, let's just see here. Was blocked. And then you see when it says it was blocked, I'm clicking these three dots up here and say keep. And then it's trying to, still trying to prevent me. Keep anyway. Um, okay, it did it. Now I'm going to just click here and see open file, see if it'll run. Oh, it did run. That's pretty good. Say yes. 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 Create an icon. Yes. Let's leave that and say yes. Yes. Now the only thing we're going to have to do is when you first download it, it's going to ask us a separate step to download the uh, base map charts. It's not the navigation charts we're going to be doing. It'll just be the base map charts. Okay, here you say finish. And I think, okay, now this is charts loading. Download. Let's just say download right now. And that's going to put them in uh, some default folder. Let's just do this live. Uh, you know, I could shut it off and wait, but let's just see how long the whole process takes live. Because, and then all we're going to do now is load the program, be sure it's loaded and running, and then that's it. Oh, and that's done. That's loaded and running right now. Um, and so here's this. And in, okay, so let me close the program uh, and close this. I guess I can close that and just go here. Oh, there is a shortcut. Let's just see if that shortcut works. You click that and, uh, oh, okay, so look, it comes, and I don't know if this is a Windows issue or not. I'm a Mac. I use a Mac mostly, but this is not an issue. If that thing, if it shows up compressed, you know, in a small window like that, just, whoops, uh, just, you know, just open it up and we're ready to go. And then we're going to have another video very shortly that will talk about ways that we're going to, we're going to optimize and shut off some of these many options that they have that we don't use right away. But then the main thing I want to do right now is just take a look, go into your, uh, like uh, my p local disk c and this is a 64-bit program so it's in program files not program 86 it's right here and this is it everything in the program is right here right in this one folder so if you don't you don't need an uninstaller if you change your mind here and want to get rid of it or start over or something just delete that folder in program files and you're done simple as that very clean uninstall that way then uh, likewise, you can always just say compress this or however you want to do it. It's a couple hundred mega. Well, it says 345 megabytes. So you could just, if you wanted to, if you're heading offshore and you're not going to be on the Internet anywhere, then just copy that whole folder right there onto a thumb drive. And then that's your backup if you, anything hiccups on your machine or so forth. Okay, so that's the process. Uh, there, the program's running fine. And we'll have another video following up on how to load charts and how to, and, and a sort of a walk through the menus.